In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a new project which is called Voltec, which one of my buddies, Pocket Aces, has stood up. The only place to get into it is via the Crypto Clarity community, which is our Discord. I suggest getting on over there. You can find out a little bit about it. And you're gonna find out quite a lot about it in this video because I'm gonna take you through the white paper, explain why it's unique, why their OTC trading system is very, very smart. Let's get into this video, find out a bit more about Voltec. So Voltec is still in its pre-sale phase and I believe it lasts until the 25th of May of this month. And what is it? Well, it's a token. Now we, we all know what happens when people buy into tokens. Typically you get pump and dumpers, you get sniper bots, you get all sorts of things which are a challenge and ultimately they are the things that cause protocols to dump. And ultimately you end up in a situation where you feel like you wish you'd never bothered investing because basically someone else has dumped on you and you are the one left holding the bag of tokens that have no liquidity or value to it. Now they have something really interesting in this which is their OTC system which means that tokens can only be traded between people who want to buy and sell them to each other. Now this is a very, very smart mechanism. So by holding the token, simply you get some benefits to holding that. You can obviously stake it and you can earn rewards. They are auto compounding and they're gonna basically be deriving the price of the token from the treasury. So we're gonna have a look at all of that. We'll have a quick look at the white paper now, but the website's pretty straightforward. It's just vault-tech.xyz. There is no other pages really. It's just a simple landing page to start with. I'm sure it will evolve in the future. Now the white paper is version 1.3. You can see in here, it's got a breakdown of the different things. So there's some tokens economic stuff in here, early bird opportunities. The smart contract OTC desk is what really excites me because it means that the token cannot tank in price unless the treasury tanks in value. But we'll come on to that a bit later on. And of course they've got staking pools as well, which obviously is always helpful for low sell pressure, even though that's not really gonna be an issue in this project. So the idea of the project really is that you'll hold a token and then by investing in that token, they will have a treasury of money that you'll invest in, which will ultimately start in BUSD because that's how you invest in the project. Now, one thing that I really like about this protocol is it's being run by a guy called Pocket Aces. So if you don't know Pocket Aces, he's a really cool guy. It's in, his name is Justin and he is always on YouTube. He's got a YouTube channel. He's publicly doxxed. He does a lot of moderating for different DeFi communities and knows the space very well. He works very closely with people like James Pelton, Crypto Andy, myself and various other YouTubers. I mean, you won't, you'll see him pretty much everywhere now. You know, you won't be able to unsee him. Obviously, he's got his own YouTube channel, so I recommend subscribing and following him as well because he does some very, very cool plays. Ultimately, yeah, I got into building a Discord with him, although he's done most of the work in building that because he's much cleverer than I am when it comes to that stuff. And it's quite nice and it's been good. And obviously him launching a project is a major thing for me. I'm quite excited for him. I'm really interested in the opportunities that they're going to present to us because some of the protocols they're going to be investing in in order to grow that treasury that basically feeds the price of your token will ultimately be things that you have heard of quite a lot before. You've heard of projects like iBots, so I know in the future that they're going to be looking to invest in those. They are going to be investing in things like Warfi, which have a solid background. They've got the Warbots NFTs, and also they had the play to earn game with soldiers and snipers and all that kind of stuff. They've been very, very successful. There's lots of trading bots and things like that. And I think the idea of a protocol like this is so that you've got someone who's close on the ground who can invest in those, these kind of projects, who knows which ones are good, which ones are more risky, ultimately can take on that risk, invest in it, and ultimately grow a big bag of money for people to then cash out their tokens when they want to. They've anticipated on average average a return of around 10 to 20 percent a month which might not sound super super dj given that this doesn't have the pains of token price going down and all that kind of stuff just mention some other things in here about angel investments getting into things early and stuff which i think is covered a bit later on i've already mentioned about the otc but if you didn't know what normally happens is when you want to buy a token you'd go somewhere like pancake swap or binance or whatever and there is a liquidity pool you'd effectively swap your dollar amount your busd or whatever it is for a token and then and that has an impact on the liquidity pool because you're basically taking some tokens out and you're putting some BUSD into the pool. And what that does is that gives a price increase on the price of tokens for the next buyers, technically, and obviously depending on how much you put in. Now, the problem with liquidity pools is when people do what we call a pump and dump, i.e. they get in on the pre-sale, they wait for an exciting rise where everybody buys in the token on launch, and then people dump immediately trying to take a profit on the launch of the token. And you see this all the time. That's why launches of tokens in crypto and DeFi are crazy and often not to be trifled with unless you know what you're doing. You are up against things like sniper bots, sandwich bots, all sorts of things waiting to take advantage of you and your price and your slippage and all that kind of stuff because basically programs and computers and smart contracts can work faster than you can. And sometimes you could be in a situation where you want to buy something, you don't get what you wanted for your money, or maybe you paid over the odds and then it dumped in price and now you can't get your money back and you're just relying on it going up again. These are all things that won't happen with Voltec because they're doing an OTC 
system. What does that mean? It means that it's over the counter and therefore if you want to buy or sell tokens, you will do it at a desk, you will put a request in to buy and sell tokens and someone will fulfill that requirement or tokens will be sold to you from the treasury or whatever else. There is no liquidity pool, which means people can't take advantage of you. It is a free market in some ways, but it's also not a free market in that people and whales and people like that can't come and manipulate it and screw you over, which is very, very easy to do in a normal liquidity pool. So this is very, very cool indeed. And I like the fact that they've done it that way instead of the traditional way. Now, when we have a look a little bit later on in the document, you will see that you are able to stake your tokens and you can earn up to 35% of the rewards that the team will make on things. There's going to be auto compounding, but there will be 35% also allocated back to people that will be paid out in rewards. Now, they mention here something about the alpha staking pool, which is a way for investors to basically get exposed to investments that you wouldn't normally be able to get into. But this is kind of stuff like high leverage automatic crypto trading bots that basically no one's just going to give you for free. You're going to have to pay for them or you're going to need some relationship with someone to bring in a certain amount of money in order for them to make it beneficial to expose those to you. And that's the benefits you'll have of a group effort because when there's lots of money in the treasury, this protocol, Pocket Aces, maybe even myself in the future will be helping to try and drive traffic and activity on this protocol and make the most of that treasury. Now, this isn't my project. This is very much Pocket Aces and the people he's doing it with, but I'll be supporting him along the way because he's a very trustworthy guy and it's something I can't say a lot of DeFi people are. And being able to get into like Forex trading, live traders. I mean, I've seen lots of protocols that we've talked about and worked with like Wolf Capital and uh, what about 9to5 and there's Flex IRA and all these other protocols, which if you can get the risk level right and make the right investments in it, you can grow this bag of the treasury quite quickly. And also while that treasury is growing, guess what's happening to your token price? It's also growing and that's the beauty about it. So it's not kind of algorithmic or anything like that. It's just literally based on the value of the treasury, how much money the protocol really has and that can pay out. Now, there is talk of this prime staking pool, which I'm not super familiar with, but this is more for stable investments by the looks of things. So this is going to be focused on things like Bitcoin mining, arbitrage trading bots, ETH nodes, Bitcoin mining, things in the blockchain and the this kind of ecosystem that are always going to be there because you're always going to need Bitcoin mining. You're always going to need some arbitrage trading bots or whatever. And they're not going to return as high return. Of course, they're not because most of these things would typically not be considered what we call degen. You know, you're not going to get 1.5% a day or 2% a day or something like that for this kind of stuff. This is stuff that might pay 2% per week uh, or something like that. And, and it might even be lower than that, but you can guarantee that this will be a lot safer. So it looks like they're going to have two different pools. You're going to be able to invest in them. So it'd be interesting to see the kind of things that they're going to do with that when they launch. Now, let's think about the tokenomics of it, because as always, when tokens are involved, everybody's scared. They're like, oh my God, where are these tokens going? Who's going to dump on us? You know, is the vesting all this kind of stuff? So what you can see here is in the seed round, about fifth, not quite a fifth, but about 46,666 tokens of the entire supply will be distributed to seed round investors for people getting involved. Remember, there's only 250,000 Vault tokens in total at all. So they're allocating a fifth of those for the seed round. And again, you might be saying to yourself, well, that seems like a lot. Surely the team are going to dump on us. Remember what we talked about earlier with the OTC desk? That can't happen. So people who invested in this protocol in the seed round, all they can do is take a little bit of profit. But the reality is they'll want to hold because then when the price of the token goes up, they'll be able to sell it for more. And then other people in the market will be able to pick up those tokens and continue that rally going. So in order to sell your tokens, somebody needs to buy them. So that's the interesting part about it. So it kind of incentivizes holding and incentivizes a lot of people to hold as well. And obviously those who are really bullish on it will want to accrue a bigger position and therefore will be the ones buying on the other side of the OTC desk if you wanted to sell, for example. Pre-sale, it mentions here the remainder of the tokens, 203,334 will be available for purchase at that time. And that's the pre-sale that's ongoing right now. So you'll be able to get into that and I'll show you in a minute how you do that. But it's pretty straightforward. There's no team allocation. So basically any of the team, if they want to be part of this, they've got to invest like everybody else. The last bit is around profit distribution and all that kind of stuff, right? 10% is allocated to the team for the profit that they make. Now, this isn't the tokens, this is the profit. So what we're talking about here is that any money that the protocol makes, the team behind that will take 10% to continue supporting that, finding opportunities, putting down payments in to get people into different protocols to potentially grow that back even faster. It mentions here as well that 35% will be allocated to the staking pool. So this is where as a vault token holder, you will stake your tokens in a vault, basically. You'll hold them long term and you'll be paid out 35% of profit, obviously, depending on how many tokens you have. And the other thing it mentions here is that there is a 5% sales tax. So that's for people who want to sell their tokens. So if you're buying, totally free, enjoy yourself, hold your tokens, be part of the
the Voltec ecosystem. If you want to sell, unfortunately, we're going to have to take 5% sales tax. Now, it mentions here that this tax will go straight back into the treasury to immediately raise the value. So what this does is it kind of gives you an absolute price because normally what happens when someone sells, there's a panic moment. Like, oh my God, it's going to dump the price. That doesn't happen here because the 5% sales tax goes in and actually boosts the value of the treasury, which means that your tokens will ultimately be worth more because that's where the price of the token is based on the value of the treasury overall. Here's the big bit. 50% of the profits that they generate are going to be compounded. They're going to be putting that back into the investment side of the business. They're going to be going back out to all the projects that they're invested in, arbitrage trading bot, Bitcoin mining, I don't know, Wolf Capital, iBots, whatever it is that they choose to invest in the future, all the different avenues, whether that's in an alpha staking pool or the prime staking pool, whatever's kind of corresponding to that, they're going to be throwing that money into that kind of stuff and just going again, building more. Remember, we all know how compound works. The last bit is the buyback program. 5% of profits to purchase low priced vault tokens from the OTC desk. So what that means is if you put anything out there that's at low price, they're going to be snapping those up. They're going to be looking for the bargains like anybody else. So from the buybacks, then they're going to offer those tokens to new or existing users who want to come into the protocol. So it's just a good way to get people in. And it means that there is a little bit of price difference in there that can be used for net profit for the treasury, again, to grow the treasury, which ultimately grows the value of your token over time and the amount of investments that they can invest in, which then compounds to more and compounds to more and you can kind of see the idea so that they're trying to just basically grow this massive treasury and as a result of that your vault token will be worth more because there's more value in the treasury because that's where the price is determined from so one of the other things to we just want to have a quick look at is the pre-sale so it says here that it started on the 11th of may and finishes on the 25th of may at exactly 1106 and 55 seconds so that's quite specific it's the most specific pre-sale end date i've ever seen but nevertheless that's just when they launched it's probably when pocket ac He's had five minutes to stand this thing up. So you can see so far, they're about 3.9% in to the pre-sale and the selling and stuff. So if you want to get involved, you can do that. There's a buy button down here, which is grayed out. Obviously, if you're on the buy tab, you'll need BUSD. So this is on the Binance Smart Chain thankfully, because there's lots of activity. It's a very busy network. And the good thing is the gas fees on BNB are quite cheap. So you're not going to get smashed for like 20 quid ETH or whatever it is. Um, and all you do is you put your money in here, you buy the vault tokens, and then on launch, there'll be presumably the claim option will then give you the vault token itself. So really, this is a commitment up front. You're contributing, you're crowdfunding, let's say. And then when that launches, you'll be able to claim your tokens. They will then be added to your MetaMask wallet or whatever other wallet that you want. And then at that point, there will be a D app. There'll be somewhere to stake those tokens all that kind of good stuff will be there then now i'm not here to plug my own discord or anything but really we are in this discord together even though to be fair pocket aces has done an amazing amount of work on this so i'd like to thank him for that but but the team aren't actually standing up a full voltec environment they're not going to have a separate discord or anything in they're going to have a sub discord within our discord which is called crypto clarity if you want to find out more information about it it's pretty straightforward on the left hand side here in our community crypto clarity which i'll put in the link at the end you can get involved and then you can raise a request to get yourself added to the Voltec channels which will just then allow you to do it and you can see over here we are legit we do exist we are in hitting this together you'll probably meet a lot of people in here that you know already and we're getting more and more by the day but uh, yeah there's all sorts of media and videos in here about um, AMAs with this that and the other videos on the Voltec project there's also some other projects in here too in the discord that you'll be able to have a look at and like I say you can ask around in the community uh, and there's also very various things like weekly DeFi updates, video drops, that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of stuff in here, lots of videos, lots of different content and things around different projects as well. So I'd recommend getting in here, but more importantly, so that you can get into the Voltec part of the community and get involved in it, get involved in the pre-sale, find out more about the project. So come on over and enjoy yourself. It's a good environment. We're always here. So overall, it's a pretty straightforward protocol. It's got some nice mechanics though, and that's what I like about it. It's not typical token pump and dump design, boring, oh, we've got liquidity pools, oh we've got we're gonna have to worry about bots and sniper bots on launch and all this kind of stuff no basically if you're involved in the protocol and you need to stake your tokens and you can take profits from there then you'll have to do it through the protocol and through the otc desk or you'll have to get involved in the pre-sale obviously you're going to get exposed here to someone who's got very 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 good connections in the DeFi space works with a lot of projects a lot of protocols and works with them cr closely so he's able to vet them know what they're like do kyc do doxing and stuff which not a lot of people can really 
really say that they can do. We all watch AMAs and stuff like that, but as you'll find with Pocket ACC, he's very clear cut in what he deals with, and he's very good at spotting spammers, scammers, and all the dodgy people who try to flood the space. And he will literally call that out as well. So that's another thing I like about it. Um, very trustworthy guy, and that's why we decided to start a Discord together and have a bit of fun about it. So that was Voltec in a nutshell. Hopefully you found some form of value in it, and it might be an option for you. I'll put all the links down below to the project, as always. And of course, if you wouldn't mind doing the usual smash like, subscribe, leave me a comment, maybe even sign up to my weekly DeFi and crypto newsletter because I have all sorts of projects on there covering things in depth, covering things in flash round. I even give some very, very fun commentary on the crazy world of crypto, in particular in the US at the moment, because the government are a bit of a bastard. Apart from that, hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. I've put another video on the screen that I'd recommend watching next. And apart from that, I'll chat to you in the next video. See ya.